हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू नीट मेंटर देर इज़ अ न्यू रेगुलेशन रिलीज बाई एन एम सी रिगार्डिंग द सीट इंक्रीमेंट प्लान इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स एंड इट सेज दैट सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड अप्रॉक्स सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सीट्स आर गोइंग टू गेट इंक्रीमेंटेड एंड इट्स ऑल ऑफिशियल न्यूज पोस्टेड ऑन द एन एम सी वेबसाइट यू कैन सी द सीरियल नंबर आई टेल यू सीरियल नंबर सिक्स ओके यू कैन चेक ऑन द डेट ऑफ फिफ्थ ऑफ जुलाई and after this uh, nmc regulation came it was made as a public gadget on the same day the serial number 5th is the notification for the public gadget is available there okay so i'll i'll explain you how, how it is going to change the seat increment process and how it is made more lenient how the faculties criteria are changed and uh, what are the criteria are changed to open a new pg मेडिकल कॉलेज और ओपनिंग अ न्यू और ओपनिंग द पी जी कोर्स इन द एग्जिस्टिंग यू जी कॉलेज इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड यू कैन ज्वाइन अवर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो एंड यू कैन ज्वाइन अवर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप ऑल्सो ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट लाइट ऑफ द नोटिफिकेशन विच केम ऑन द फिफ्थ ऑफ जुलाई ओके सो इट सेज दैट इट इज अ लैंड वार मूव बाई द एन एम सी to address the growing demand for the healthcare professional and to enhance the quality of medical education so nmc has given the notification to the medical institutions and medical institutions including the medical colleges government and private hospitals non teaching uh, institutions okay so under the regulation which was brought under the name of post graduate medical education board okay pgmeb which uh, works under nmc so they have uh, like uh, release the uh, regulation to ease out uh, the criteria to extend the pg courses in the existing ug courses okay and there is a target to open to add 75000 new medical seats and these medical seats would include mbbs mdms dnb and other medical courses which are broad specialties or super specialties okay so we see from last few years around 8 to 12000 seats are getting added in the mbbs on yearly basis and approx 3.5000 to 4000 seats are getting added in uh, mdms and dnb okay so almost 10000 seats or 10 to 12000 seats on rough note i would say are getting added already so they are going to add more seats on the daily uh, yearly basis for that they have made some changes some notif notif notifiable changes i will tell you those non teaching government hospitals maybe a district hospital where the number of bed is 220 plus can now be designated as a teaching institutions those are not teaching institution those are non teaching government hospitals okay so existing specialties with the 10 years of experience those uh, faculties are having 10 years plus experience can now be appointed as associate professors so promotion process is is out here okay you will get the promotion to higher level in lesser duration with the lesser experience and those with the 2 years can be appointed as assistant professors okay without any mandatory sr ship okay other uh, important points like uh, in order to open a new government medical college okay so any government medical colleges are getting open they can start ug and pg courses simultaneously Three years back, there was a rule. Be before this uh, regulation, PGMEB, Post Graduation Medical Education Board, came into picture. There was a rule that uh, after one UG batch pass outs, then they will be the college will be eligible to start PG course. After this regulation, they made a change, big change in the rule that after one year of completion of UG. okay means ug course started in 2024 in 2025 the institution is eligible to start pg course also provided they should meet all the checkpoints for the eligibility of pg courses to be started in the institution now 
at the same time they can start the institution with both pg and ug courses considering they have the proper checkpoints fulfilled so the criteria is eased out the number of pg seats will be getting incremented rapidly than earlier okay so for pg courses now can be started with just two faculty members and two seats so okay college can start pg seats just two pg seats they should have and with the two faculty member they can start the pg courses also okay it is a relaxation to the earlier requirement of three faculties and with the senior residents okay and bed requirement per unit was also there okay now it is eased out okay regarding the broader specialties now they are adding one more thing in order to get eligibility to particular super specialty they are adding more broader specialties for example for particular uh, surgical mch course they are going to allow more broader specialties means more ms courses are allowed to go and uh, do the super specialization okay that's what this means okay and the senior uh, the age limit for sr ship the upper age limitation for appointing as a senior resident has been increased to 50 years okay the experience gained as a tutor uh, some of the pg students who are preparing are also working as a tutor or as a demonstrator okay in some government institution so experience gained as a tutor or demonstrator by candidates with post graduate qualification shall be considered valid for the purpose of eligibility as a assistant professor so ultimately they are lacking or they are finding the lack of faculties as a kind of bottleneck to increase the pg seats so they are easing out they are making the criteria more liberal and more easy to qualify uh, as a like assistant professor or associate professor so that uh, more number of seats may get added up because when it goes to the nmc their uh, subsidiary or other boards are not making it eligible to uh, not qualifying for the pg because they do not have the proper uh, number of faculties or whatever the criteria is not able to meet the checkpoints so they are easing out the faculties uh, criteria okay senior consultants with 3 years of teaching experience in nbe recognized government medical institution are now eligible for the post of professor okay those who are diploma holders are working as a specialist or as a mo in any of the department of government institution uh, recognized by nb okay now having um, cumulative experience of 6 years just after completion of diploma without having dnb or mdms degrees shall be eligible for the post of assistant professor now it's very clear that after completion of diploma also if you have 6 years of experience in government institution then you are eligible for assistant professor uh, post okay that is very mar- remarkable uh, point a cumulative experience uh, up to 5 years served by faculty member in nmc or any universities okay so these are the major changes so ultimately the point is the now the uh, process of increasing seats in pg will be more easier it means on yearly basis more pg seats you can expect earlier what we could figure out that application went for lot many of uh, new seats like going up to 6 to 7000 but when it comes to real seat matrix then we realize that hardly uh, to hardly 3 to 3000 to 3500 seats are getting added but the application went for like 6 to 7000 uh, seat increment so they analyzed like okay these are the bottlenecks okay the criteria so they are aging out the criteria uh, so the number of pg seat will be rapidly increasing and this 75000 number includes mbbs and pg both okay but i expect more than 75000 seats will be added up in next 5 years okay is creating like a positive impact also and some negative impact also saturation will be coming up particularly in mbs and in some of the broader specialty branches
okay so that's bits and parts of the process okay but ultimately it's good news we can expect more and more seats in coming years in the pg okay so that's all from my side in this video i want to convey because it's an official update and uh, that's what the purpose in case you are interested for our paid counseling packages the exam is nearby on 3rd of august so i'll publish a separate video where i will set your target how much score you should have in order to get particular branch in a particular category for the government colleges so stay tuned on this channel and take care thanks for watching